ProDrive started doing research projects in power electronics a few years ago. And ever since then, we've continued developing power electronics as a capability in-house and also for our customers. ProDrive developed a DC to DC converter, creating its own IP. It was way ahead of its time, but it was a great thing to do because it gave us the experience of developing that type of technology using high-end, state-of-the-art power electronics like silicon carbide. It was a strategic decision on the part of ProDrive to actively involve themselves in the electrification domain. So in taking the journey of developing the DC to DC converter, we didn't just develop the converter, we developed a mobile development platform. So we have a, a vehicle that's kitted out with battery packs that we've built, supercapacitor packs that we've built, um, a traction drive that we've installed, and essentially can run in many different hybrid modes. So we were ahead of the game because I think four years ago, people weren't really considering that was going to be an issue. But then again, people didn't think fully electric vehicles were going to be in the market this soon. The government has changed the rules. Not only this government, but pretty much worldwide, there is a push to go for something cleaner, something more efficient. The OEMs and, and their supply chain are coming under a lot of pressure, particularly time-based, um, to provide solutions. It's very much in, in the news of late regards London and the plans in terms of both petrol and diesel engine vehicles. Every OEM is doing something in hybrid and EV, and we are able to assist a lot of them in getting there quickly. We're helping some customers integrate right now power electronics into internal combustion engines, so we're helping them um, convert their vehicles, so telling them your platform is still valid, you just need to change your technology and we can help, because we have the expertise. The technology from that has been used in many applications, not just automotive actually, but also in aerospace, and it took us a step forward and a step ahead of a lot of our competitors.